People message me all the time saying, Mark, I need your help. My YouTube channel is not growing. Views are in decline. Um, it all seems too hard and I want to give up. Can you help me is what they ask. Now I can definitely help and I have five simple tips to help you get back on track and they're coming up right now. So diving straight into this video, we are already on my YouTube channel, we are. So I have for you five tips to reinvigorate your YouTube channel to get it growing again, or if you're just a beginner and a starter, five simple and easy tips to get you on your way. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tick the bell icon to stay up to date with all of my weekly videos just like this one. So tip number one that I want to explain to everyone, whether you're a beginner or whether you have a YouTube channel and it's not growing, is I want you to set up and optimize your YouTube channel for success. Now, think of it this way. When we um, all set up a website and things like that, we probably spend months and thousands of dollars setting up and optimizing our website for success because we realize it's important. That's exactly the same with all of our social media platforms and very much with YouTube. Because when someone lands on your YouTube, channel you want to you know really stop the scroll you want it to stand out to pop you want them to start scrolling through and then start watching your videos and by not setting up and optimizing your channel for success you may well be missing out on that opportunity so the first thing I want you to do is to set up some channel art you can see here and it lets people know straight away what I'm doing making social media for business owners and business owners easy then I have my logos I've got to get a resize because they've cut my head off here it's a new image I've got my smiley face over here as my profile image so for some of you that will be an image of you or maybe even a, um, a business logo and over here on the right hand side see I've got these clickable links so if people then want to check me out on my other socials they can but I'm ticking all the right boxes setting up and optimizing my channel for success when people land on my channel they can see that hey Mark's actually serious he's not a fly by night or um, you know he's not doing this part time Equally, I have a channel welcome video. This is the initial video people will see on my channel before they've subscribed to my channel. And I say, hello, how are you? Thanks for viewing my channel. And I explain and, and, and let them know who I am and what I do and how I help. So, you know, these are the type of things that many, many YouTubers miss out. They just don't do the basics. And when you don't do the basics, your channel doesn't grow. People then will start scrolling down and then I've got all my popular up loads and then I've got all of my playlists created look at this very um, you know right to the top so if someone wanted to binge on Twitter or LinkedIn or YouTube or Facebook they've got all of those playlists that they can start um, you know binging and watching and then before you know it, you've got someone who's hooked on your channel and they've become a new subscriber equally you're about information you want to you know list um, explain who you are and what you do and, and how you help that type of thing but these are all the basics and the fundamentals and if you can't get these type of things right then you're going to find it's going to be hard for you to grow and optimize and start dominating um, here on YouTube so make sure you set up and optimize your channel for success is tip number one so then tip number two is I want you to plan out your video strategy and upload videos on a regular basis. Um, probably the number one reason I see people's channels, why it's not growing or why people think it's all too hard is they just don't put in the time and effort. And I go and have a look at how many videos they've done and they might have started, you know, with a video a week for a, a few weeks or a month or two and then they just stop or then they go months and months in between videos and that's the reason the number one reason I believe your channel is not growing you know it's you're not being consistent people you might have made a great first video you know people might be have enjoyed your content or you know, your, your first video might have bombed out but then you've actually stopped so when people scroll through my channel they're going to see me uploading minimum every week now I'm averaging about six videos per month you know sometimes I, I, I drop back to four and sometimes I do eight but around about six videos per month making social media for business owners and brands easy I have lots of how-to videos tips and information that type of thing and all of that does take some planning and effort so that's why I'm planning in advance you can see here a quick snapshot of what my January videos are going to be I've got seven planned for January and I've already got eight videos planned for February now the green lines means they're a hundred percent all 
um, set up and already uploaded to my YouTube channel. So by planning in advance, by setting out the start of each month, you know, you might spend a few hours planning all of your videos, put them in a simple Excel spreadsheet like me, and then basically just tick them off and get them done. So you might spend, you know, a few days, um, a couple of, you know, a few days a month just planning, recording and getting them all pre-uploaded to your YouTube channel. This is what all the professionals do. This is what all the experts do. And this is what I've done over the last two years, which has helped my channel grow now to coming up to 20,000 subscribers and um, about one and a half million views as well. So planning for success. So you're wanting to be planning and you're wanting to be uploading videos on a regular basis. That is tip number two. Which brings us to tip number three. And tip number three is all about your thumbnails and your title. That's right. Now, when people ask me, Mark, what's the most important part of your video? My answer normally subscribe um, and my answer normally surprises people because I answer by saying it's your thumbnail and your title. Because when people are scrolling anywhere online these days, and especially on YouTube, you need to stop the scroll. And you need to stop the scroll with an eye-catching, engaging, curiosity-focused thumbnail. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at this. Five Twitter marketing tips for 2022. Hopefully that's stopping the scroll. It's only been uploaded a few days, a few hundred uh, view. Um, is posting YouTube videos on LinkedIn a good idea? A curiosity style, um, you know, thumbnail. How to set up Facebook uh, featured videos. LinkedIn explained in only five minutes. Um, how this LinkedIn post got 7,000 comments, those type of things. So you're wanting to plan out in advance your videos, but then you're wanting to plan your um, thumbnails and titles. So this particular one, have Facebook cover videos been removed? You know, it's a question. Or people say, oh, have Facebook cover videos? Yeah, actually, I may have noticed. But then I followed it up again with another video straight after that. Where did my Facebook cover video go? These type of things. So planning out your thumbnails and titles is going to be extremely important. And that's why I use a professional um, a graphic services to do all of my thumbnails. The website's called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, so you can check them out as well. So really, really important though, if you don't have an eye-catching thumbnail and title to stop the scroll, your videos won't get watched. And if your videos aren't getting watched, your channel is not growing. So moving on to tip number four, you might be ticking off and all of them saying, Mark, okay, I can do tip number one. I can do tip number two. I can do tip number three. Tip number four is how to increase the chances of getting your videos ranking on page one of Google and YouTube and anywhere online. So how can we increase the chances? Okay, have a look up at the, the top here. I've got it in the search bar, what is LinkedIn? And underneath that, there is a yellow highlighted area and it's showing me 60,500 people a month are utilizing searching on Google that term. So that means, or that's giving me an idea and it's giving me an indication that if I create a video with that title, there's a very good chance that I'm gonna rank on page one of Google and YouTube and other places online. Now to actually get this yellow highlighted line, it's a Google um, Chrome um, plugin that I've, um, I've, I've, I've downloaded on my computer and it's called Keywords Everywhere. So it's just a search volume tool. And whenever you search online, it will then pop up, you know, the volume. But straight away, the idea of it, it then gives you an idea of what people are searching for. And you can then start creating videos on or around that topic. So here we go. What is LinkedIn? And I've keyed it in here to YouTube and I'm the number one ranking. There's another one there, and there's another one of my videos, what is LinkedIn's best feature? So the idea is we're planning in advance, but we're utilizing some tools and knowledge to increase our chances of getting on page one of YouTube and Google, because if you're on page 22, chances are your videos aren't gonna get watched. And I've just flicked over to Google to show you again, a Google search, what is LinkedIn? We've got some ads up the front, we've got some various question here, we have some tweets, but if we scroll down a little bit, have a look at my video. It was uploaded um, two years ago. What is LinkedIn? How does it work? And it's there um, on page one of Google. And if we click on, not images, sorry, let's click on videos. And if we scroll through the videos, you can see lots of videos there for people to click and watch. Video is the preferred medium. People would rather watch a video these days than maybe read a blog or an article. And, and there we do, I, there we go. I do appear on page one of Google as well as page one of YouTube. So 
do some research in advance, maybe use one of these plug-in tools to find out what people are actually looking for and then create videos on and around that topic and then you will increase the chances of your videos being found, um, which will then help your, video, your YouTube channel actually grow. Which brings me on to tip number five. So once you've done all those simple tips, the uh, work is not over because I then want you to start sharing all of your videos everywhere online. That's right. You've recorded and uploaded the video to your YouTube channel. You've gone to the time and effort. You now need to share your video everywhere online. So I want you to share it to your email marketing list, maybe embed it in your website, add it to your blog articles. But equally, I'm wanting you to share your videos across all of your socials. With every one of my videos, without fail, I share it straight away to all of my social media um, channels. So here's me on Twitter, with um, sorry, here's me on Twitter, and you can see, you know, all of my videos are popping up um, as a recent post from myself. So I'm cross promoting my YouTube videos on Twitter. I do exactly the same here with my LinkedIn profile, and I've actually activated the featured section here on link on my LinkedIn profile right at the top. So if someone's viewing me on LinkedIn, they don't need to go too far and then they can start scrolling and having a look and watching my video, which, you know, the chances are then, uh, well, there's an increased chance of them going to my channel, subscribing, and that's how your channel grows. So I do exactly the same here on Facebook. I'm updating my image here. So you'll be watching this video soon and you'll see the new um, updated banner image. But again, it doesn't take people long to scroll down. They get to see all of my video content. Now on Facebook, I do upload the videos as a native video, meaning I don't necessarily put the YouTube link in straight away, but I do share all of my videos, my YouTube link to my Facebook page as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So again, increases the chances of people then watching and subscribing to my YouTube channel. So just recording and uploading while you'll be ahead of the pack if you just do all of those tips number one to four, if you follow then tip number five of sharing all of your videos um, online, you, um, your website, your blog, your email, and all of your socials, socials, that will further increase the chances of your YouTube channel growing and reactivating and actually even dominating your space here on YouTube. So there we go. Hopefully you found these five tips informative, entertaining and helpful. Go to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button um, and stay up to date with all of my weekly videos. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitter, don't forget to find me on Twitter and click the follow button. Equally, you might be watching this video on my LinkedIn profile. Don't forget to send me a connection request. And lastly, you might even be seeing this video on my Facebook page. Give me a like and a thumbs up. And on all of them, Leave a comment and let me know where you're tuning in from around the world. I would love to hear from you. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123, signing off. And I look forward to seeing you again in another one of my videos real soon.